I broke my hand here pretty heavily when I was six. And I asked my doctor, what happens if my bones don't heal properly? And he jokingly said that we will get you a new one. He probably didn't expect that one day it could actually become a reality. I'm Dr. Bertalo Meshko, and this is a future bit from The Magical Futurist. In healthcare, 3D printing has been one of the biggest buzzwords of recent years because it stands at the crossroad of being a very simple, feasible concept and being an amazingly complex and flexible solution. Meaning that, just like nanotech or genetic engineering, people tend to throw 3D printing at literally every problem we face today as the solution of the future. Which is why we think of it like this. As you probably guessed, this is a bit of an overpromise. As it usually goes, once we look under the hood, although the huge potential of 3D printing does hold up, we can see that there are major challenges to overcome, any of which would easily account for a moonshot by themselves. For example, the idea of simply printing organs is a bit far-fetched for now. The current state of bioprinting is more about being able to accurately and safely print out living tissues, not entire organs. It has only been a few years since we first managed to print functioning liver and kidney tissues. Now, synthetic skin, uh, bionic ear, bladder and cornea are the next steps in the field. Don't get me wrong, these are relatively simple organs, but creating them is still a difficult and time-consuming process. But at least they are living tissue, and printing living cells without damaging them is a proven method. But bones are a mixture of highly structured living and inorganic compounds, so printing them makes an already difficult challenge next to impossible. But that didn't stop a team at the University of New South Wales to give it a shot with a brand new method that they developed. It's really the first example of integrating uh, ceramic materials that emulate many aspects of native bone uh, with live cells. This really opens up the opportunity where you may be able to actually directly print a patient's bone within a cavity. A ceramic ink that can be used in 3D printers without the need for the harmful chemicals that were used in earlier technologies. This type of ink mimics the structure and chemistry of the bone, and it makes the printing of synthetic bones a viable idea. The possibilities this breakthrough opens up are vast. Bioprinted bones can be used to repair damage, whether it's from trauma or illness, and it can be used safely in drug trials too. But the most important aspect of this discovery is that this ink can be printed directly into an environment like the human body, but it hardens to create a nanocrystal matrix similar to the structure of native bone tissue. It's truly a thing of science fiction movies. And while mass production and the printing of entire organs are still far away, perhaps even decades away, this breakthrough is a major leap in bringing that future closer. If you like this video, please subscribe below and don't forget to tap the notification bell too so you will get notified about all the new videos. Thank you.